isn't this better? The sun is shining, everything is great. Today is my birthday, so I thought as a celebration I'll wash the bed sheets and give the floor a bit of a scrubbing as well. Happy birthday to me! You know that Pedro, he's such a martyr to the housekeeping. Need to set an example, you know. No rest for the wicked. No one cares that it's my birthday. I will be writing to the commission of first mates for justice just when I'm done with this. Not before he's finished his chores, he won't. Happy birthday to Peter. Happy birthday. You're not doing it in time. Dear Peter, <laughs> happy birthday, dear Pedro. Happy birthday to you. I just want to cry. <laughs> what have I done to deserve this? <laughs> oh. Literally, don't do it. Stay in your houses <laughs> with your cars. It's not worth it. That's exactly the sound I wanted to hear on Peter's birthday. Oh, I'm sweating like a pig, it's like 40 <laughs> degrees. It's ridiculous. I want to see my face in that floor when you're done. I want to be able to eat my cake from it. <laughs> wow, what an island. We got it all to ourselves. This place is just spectacular. It's just a tiny little sandbar at high tide, but at low tide, paradise. Well, welcome to the Las Velas Islands. They have definitely delivered exactly what we were expecting. It's just absolute paradise. And all of this for my birthday. Oh, isn't the captain good taking me here on my special day? Yeah, he's been dropping heavy hints about this for the last few months. Even the captain can take a hint that heavy. Well, it started off with the laundry and the scrubbing, but I think things are looking up for the first mate on his birthday. I deserved it. The laundry and the scrubbing is what he deserved. <laughs> but this is what he got. Never say this captain's not a giver. He's so generous. <laughs> very, very generous. Here you got it, proof on video. That'll do me for the rest of the year. Well, we did our best to make it back to the boats, but look what the birthday boy found. Double gin and tonics for everyone. Oh my God. He only promised Pedro's birthday surprise. We're gonna be piecing back tonight from I'm this the, video footage. I'm at the best. Those two are for me. <laughs> what are you having? It's not your birthday, is it? I gotta wait another six months by the look of it. What a place, this is quite a find. We didn't know what to expect when we pulled the dinghy up on the beach earlier. We weren't sure if we get a warm welcome or anything, but this place is just gorgeous, it's got it all. Beachfront bar, palapas, restaurant, paradise. Never listen to him when he says I don't give him anything. 41, but still young at heart. <laughs> 41 and still swinging. I always love swinging. Does the captain let you swing much? <laughs> only on his birthdays. Birthdays and leap years only. He's making the most of it. <laughs> See, once you start swinging, everybody wants to do it.
Ah, it's better than I thought. Should have tried it ages ago. Ooh, look at that. Somebody has been busy. Not me, the captain. He's finally changed the snubber setup. So now we are not using that stupid knot anymore, which is putting all the twists into the chain. Now we've got some new technique. Don't ask me the details. All I know is that there's gonna be no more twist in the chains. Here's a piece of advice, first mates. Nagging works. Keep nagging. Nag, 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 and things get done. I mean, look at that. If this is not an evidence, I don't know what is. Although, I have been nagging for about two months. My jaw is practically aching from the nagging. Yeah, his jaw and my ears. Had to put a stop to it in the end. Finally, the captain found his splicing kit. Uh, the new system is a continuous loop of really thick Dyneema. Uh, so we use that with a, uh, a luggage tag slash like a prussic knot on the chain. And hopefully the idea is that that will no longer put any twists in when it pulls tight. But you know what happens when you change a system that's worked semi well for the last two years, then there's going to be problems. And I think it's going to be in the crew training. Problem is, <laughs> I don't know how to take it off now. <laughs> Cheap stuff, isn't it? See what I mean? <laughs> uh, I haven't been trained. Seriously, have not been trained. Suddenly it happened and says, oh, by the way, we have a new snubber system. Great. Hey, guy, wasn't that hard, was it? I'm a natural, you see. Years of experience. Can't buy that. <laughs> He's right, you know, I tried. And look what I got. <laughs> I'm the mail order first, mate. I came all the way from the east. <laughs> yeah, no returns, no refunds, no nothing. Be careful there, captains. Only the best. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is gonna work really well. I can, I can feel it. I can feel it in my snubber. <laughs> no more twisting. No more uncomfortable twists in his snubber. Captain also treated him to a new cable on his anchor remote control. Look at that. He kept getting trapped in the windlass somehow. So it was on his last legs. He's promised that he's gonna look after this one though. Told you. Nagging can achieve many things. Start doing it. Beautiful. No twists. It's a shame though, because now I'm going to be the only thing on Bohemia which is twisted. You could say that again. Well, looks like that's uh, one problem solved. One of the most annoying things that always uh, comes up when we're in a tight spot, looking to get the anchor up or down in a hurry. <laughs> so now it's fixed. Uh, this has been a lovely island that we visited. I think we really lucked out uh, visiting uh, the Perlis Islands. We had a wonderful time here. Uh, discovered this little restaurant and resort on the beach, of course, with a little palapa bar. So, you know, when you've got paradise like this, why would you move on? Uh, but that is exactly what we're doing today. We're headed to Panama City, to the big city. Bit of marina time to catch up on some chores and explore the place. And, and it's a goodbye to the Las Perlas. I've got to admit, this has been the medicine I needed. Absolutely fantastic place. Calm waters, great anchorages, stunning beaches, and occasional resorts with bars. Really good. And now we are heading to the big city. Panama City it is. That's right, about 40 miles over that way. Exactly where the wind is blowing from, of course, but I'm hoping that's gonna change before we get there. But looking forward to being in the big city for a while. Gosh, she's always complaining about the wind, isn't it? Not my wind, the wind. Uh, but now the first mate's cooking as well. I 
am so excited that we are going to Panama City. It's about the time we actually have not been to Marina for about four and a half months now. So definitely Marina is calling. There will be a lot of jobs to do in the Marina. Obviously the boat is absolutely filthy even though it's been raining a lot lately. We actually have a lot of mold growing everywhere, especially in these little gaps between the fiberglass. So uh, first mate on duty will need to get to that. Uh, but it will be amazing just to be in a big city again and get some provisioning done and enjoy the civilization. I'm not saying that the captain is not enough of a company, but you know. Well, the sail hasn't been much to write home about. We've been motoring the whole way. We sails out occasionally when the wind blows. Uh, we're about seven miles outside of Panama City right now, and uh, we're being surrounded already by anchored container ships. So it's going to be an interesting approach into the anchorage. Uh, also on the horizon is a big thunderstorm, which is engulfing most of the city. So it's going to be a wet arrival. Wow, that is a lot of ships. It looks like a D-Day on the Normandy beaches. I can't believe we made it to Panama City. It's just insane to be surrounded by so many tankers like this. I've never seen so many in my life. He hasn't seen much, you know. He's quite innocent. Sheltered life, very sheltered. Calm anchorages and protected bays only. Speaking of which, we've got a storm out there and a really terrible anchorage that we're headed to over there. So let's see how that works out. With the storm brewing, it's actually really spooky. It's like we are arriving in Gotham. Welcome to Panama City, we made it! At last! Five and a half thousand miles later from San Francisco. At least I think we're in Panama City. That's what the chart says, we just can't see it at the moment because uh, it's a little bit rainy out there. Well that was quick, we just heard from the marina right here that they are ready for us, so lifting the anchor again and going in. Let's see if the captain still remembers how to dock this thing. Worst things about these marinas is that they just tell you the slip number, but we have no idea where it is. So the first mate will have to have his eyes really peeled so that we don't make the wrong turn and end up in a fairway that the captain can't back out from. Yeah, uh, that's the stress of marina arrivals right now. Tom can see the markings from there. I am at the front of the boat. What's that? The age. Can't see nothing now. I'm a natural, you see. Years of experience. Can't buy that. He's right, you know, I tried. And look what I got. I'm the mail order first, man. I came all the way from the east. <laughs> Special thanks in this episode go to all of our patrons for keeping Bohemia's crew from running dry. If you've been enjoying our episodes and would like to buy us a drink, then please head over to www.patreon.com forward slash Sailing Bohemia, where you'll find a small menu of our favorite cocktails to choose from. Champagne for everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much, and here's to you.
If you enjoyed this episode, then please don't forget to tell YouTube all about it by commenting, liking, and sharing. See you next time.